get a chance to the 10 to 25. Yeah. Hello, hello, testing, hello. Hello. Aziz, are you there? Yes, I'm here. You can hear me? Hey, yeah, we got you. I think we're going to start recording here in just a, a few seconds. Sure. Okay, we're rolling. All right, we're going to jump into it. Here we go. Three, two, Jeff, you good? Three, two. A Marlboro County native has made it to NBC's primetime lineup. In fact, he's from Bennettsville. We're talking about Aziz Ansari. He stars as, alongside Amy Poehler in the Parks and Recreation show. He's joining us now to talk about season two. Thanks for talking to us, Aziz. Uh, thanks so much for having me. Uh, All right, so yes, I, I am a Bennettsville native. And I got to <laughs> ask, if you're from Bennettsville then, did you do any market research in Bennettsville and their parks department before you uh, helped NBC launch this one? Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to swing by Bennettsville's uh, parks department to... Uh, to see what they're up to, but I'm sure it would have been very insightful, but I didn't get a chance to make a trip. Talk about this the season two, of course, uh, I know uh, an expanded season. Um, people who love mm -hmm. The Office kind of tune in just more out of curiosity. This is more than just kind of a documentary. This is really kind of an in-depth look and some jokes, of course, at how parks work and uh, how complicated sometimes they are. Yeah, I mean, I think it is about that to an extent, but ultimately, I think these shows are, like, character-driven. You know, you watch The Office, it's not because you want to see what happens at a paper company. It's You like those characters. You like Michael Scott. You like Dwight. And I think it's the same with our show, you know. Uh, you know, ultimately, what drives the show is, is the characters, like Leslie, you know, Tom, Ron, Andy, everybody. And I, I feel like uh, with our second season, you really get to know the characters a little bit more because we have more episodes and, uh, you know... I think the first season you're kind of figuring things out, and second season I think with shows like this you really kind of find a groove and, and uh, it's when things really get great. And I think that's what's happening with our show. I feel like the, the feedback on the premiere, uh, people have been telling me they feel like it's much stronger this season, and I agree, and I think uh, you're going to really like the new season. Do you have much room for uh, improvisation on the set? I know you do a lot of stand-up. I know you were, I saw you actually in Aspen at the Comedy sure. Festival a couple years back. Do you have time oh. to, to kind of vent out a little bit or, or not so much? Um, yeah, you know, uh, a lot of us on the show have an improv background, myself, Amy, uh, Aubrey, and uh, several other people, and, um, you know, we definitely, they, they like us to do that on occasion to try to improvise and find things on set, but, you know, the scripts we get are so funny, and, you know, uh, but occasionally we will find stuff on set, but ultimately the, the scripts are so funny and the writing staff we have is great, so, you know, I, I, I have no worries about the stuff being funny without even worrying about doing any improv, but... You know, occasionally, yeah, we will. What would you say is maybe the biggest challenge of the show compared to some of the critiques that you've, you've heard or, or your own critiques? You know, what's, what are some of the challenges out there? I think, you know, it's like I was saying, you know, I think a show like this, it just takes a while for it to kind of really find its groove and for everyone to kind of get settled in with their characters and for the audiences to get to know the world. And, uh, you know, I think when The Office came out, you know, the first season, people were like, oh, you know, huh, I don't know, it seems like uh, blah, blah, blah. And then the second season, it was like, oh, wow, this is a great show, and I want to watch it all the time. And I think that's what's going to happen with our show as well, because I feel like, you know, the second season, the episodes are just getting better and better. Um, you know, I, I'm reading the scripts, and uh, I, I think they're just getting better and funnier, and um, I'm really excited for the season. I mean, I wouldn't lie to people, you know. If I was here <laughs> promoting, like, CSI Miami, I'd be like, don't watch it, man. It's, it's garbage, you know. <laughs> but uh, I love Parks and Recreation. I think it's really funny. I do think it's one of the funniest shows um, that's on TV right now, and I, and I think people will need to check it out. It is funny, of course. And, of course, you've got a loyal fan base here in the Grand Strand and PD in Marlboro County. Where are you from? Sure. Uh, is there any chance you might come? You know, Myrtle Beach is working on this huge boardwalk project, their parks department, huge boardwalk to connect 14th and 2nd Street Pier along the Atlantic Ocean. How cool would it be if you just kind of came back this summer when you're off and uh, helped do the inaugural walk? Might that be something you could do for us? Uh, perhaps, you know, what people don't realize is that, um, you know, we filmed the show in Los Angeles, but I actually live at Broadway at the beach, uh, near the NASCAR cafe. I live inside the NASCAR cafe. That's where my apartment is. And, uh, it's really, it's really inconvenient, but I just love NASCAR cafe. I love Broadway at the beach. And, uh, I just want to hang out there as much as I can. Excellent. Well, we'd love to see you. Aziz, I know you've got to go. Is any of that go. stuff still there? Time. <laughs> Thanks so much. Uh, cool. Thank All you right. very much.
in the studio, Michael Maley, WMBF News.